I know y'all probably think we break down all the time, which I mean we do have a good many breakdowns, but this week here is gonna be one of those weeks where that's gonna be the thing that's gonna fight us all week this week. We've got some of the skitter grass at wood right there in the tree tops. I'll walk over and see what has happened. This is a war tall. This is a tilt cylinder that flips the head up and tilts it down. The eye is broke half in two. It, go, it goes right there. See where the eye is? It's done snap off there. We've actually, we've, we've broke. We had it off, come off the cylinder several times, two or three times, I guess. We've had the eye break. We've had to have a new eye. That's a new eye that we had machined. And that's what we're gonna have to do again uh, this time. Get that get that fixed up. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the cylinder off and cap it. Because it can run without, it doesn't have to have that cylinder on it. So we're gonna take it completely off. But, and I've said this before, if somebody ever tells you, tell y'all hear somebody say that they don't break down, I'll just hold the camera because anyone wants to sit right that they log and they don't break down. They just told you the biggest lie that they ever has been told in, you know, in their life. I was watching a new farmer guy, I'm not gonna call his name yet, but I think he's gonna have some really good videos. I was listening to him this morning and, and uh, he said, you know, every day we have to work on something or fix something. That's, I mean, that's, that's kind of the norm. If you run through a day and you don't have no trouble, you've done good, but we're gonna snatch the cylinder off. I'll get some video of it. Let's set the camera up right there. Me and Kevin taking the cylinder off. It's real easy to do. Just pull this pin out right here and just take that keeper off. Same thing right there. Pins come right out. Cap those two lines. That take his cover off to get to those two lines right there. That and we'll get it off and he'll go back to running. So see, this thing was only holding on one side, just that side right there. That side over there had been broke for a while. I'll film it when Kevin takes his pin out of this other side. There's a pin right there. The pin, so y'all can see how good that pin comes out. So that end's done and off right there. Yes, I do. I didn't hear you say all the other stuff, but it's rolling. I said I didn't hear you say all that other stuff, but it's rolling now. Yeah, well, the other stuff, I didn't have it rolling when you were saying all that, so it's all good. Well, then this one hand. God, no! That's the only gun right there wasn't coming loose. That's what I'm broke. I knew I forgot something that was. See that and pull that pin out just like that. Come right out. That's what it do when you grease it all the time, they'll come right out like that. Now we gotta do is just take these lines off cap them. The other day I saw a picture pop up on Facebook. Dude took a line off a cylinder that still had pressure on it. <laughs> it must have been a good one too because he took a bath in hydraulic oil, man. He had, his shirt was completely covered in hydraulic oil, man. See, there's our caps and plugs right there. If you're yeah. a logger and you don't have several sets of them, man, you need to get you some. Definitely happens, man. It'll keep you, keep you going. See, he'll put that plug in that end. Get over in it. Get in there and we'll tighten her down. Need seven eighths eight right there. Yeah. Snug her down. And good and it'll just hang right there like that while he runs. Take that other one off, cap and plug it. She will be good to go. 
watch Kevin run, he said he can run that thing without that without that cylinder on it. It does handicap him a little bit because you can that cylinder works two ways. It'll it'll tilt the head down or it'll flip it up. And it's pretty handy to tilt the head down and pivot it on down when you're grabbing trees out of the pile over there. So it does kind of handicap him just a tad. And then we got Chad over there, his air conditioner. We don't have it back going yet. Dad's on his way. That low pressure line goes that goes from the compressor back there to the to the uh, to the back of the cab. That line is 18 feet long, man. And uh, they told us if there was any way that we could crimp that thing with it on the machine, that's what we was gonna do. So we. We got the stuff to come in to cut that line off, cut the end of that line off, and then crimp a new end on that line. Now, here's the thing about air conditioner stuff I, I'll never understand is why they make that stuff metal to aluminum. Because every time you mess with it, you know, when you undo the metal lines off that aluminum the chances are it's usually going to pull the threads it's going to it galls when you tighten it down when you snug it down it usually galls and then when you take it off it pulls the threads out and uh right now it's supposed to get up like 85 today so it's pretty warm again today dust is still bad man we that little bit of rain we got really didn't help a whole lot and then the manifold gasket's blown on the 635 too. Uh, we got to get that taken care of, but a lot of times you just can't do everything all in one whack, man. It takes a little bit to get things done and uh, all that. So just been sitting here looking at looking at the news, reading news, just read with this top female prosecutor in Pennsylvania. That sentence to jail for lying under oath and leaking documents to a grand jury or out to the out of the grand jury or whatever. Man, you just can't fix stupid no more, man. Saw in I think it was Union County yesterday. They in, here in Mississippi they busted the lady up there. She took like two hundred some thousand dollars, man. And everything. I looked her up on Facebook. And, all of her kids and stuff look like they had her all all dolled up pretty good and everything and it's just people ain't right no more i'll get some more video in a minute so i went ahead and pulled this article back at me and this is uh from wtva up in uh tupelo mississippi this is a court clerk up there in uh new albany which is union county uh embezzled it's showing right here, uh, $206,648, and they're wanting back $334,000. Let's see here. Uh, it shows her name right here. Good grief. I think it's Jennifer Galloway is her name. Yeah, right there it is. I looked her up on Facebook. But uh, anyhow, yeah, folks are crazy anymore. Do, do ignorant stuff, man. Like, I mean, you're going to take that much money, you're going to get found out about uh, this stuff they like that. Crazy. Oh, man. I'll be back. Fixing to go in here, we got a couple of lines on the processor head that we're going to change right quick. We're done for today and uh that are beginning to leak so we're gonna go ahead and swap them we like to try to do that and get them before they bust but i was just looking at instagram instagram has ticked me off man because they've done turn they're doing like facebook and the newest late most recent posted stuff don't show up at the top anymore it's all mixed up. So, I mean, when you open it, I mean, you may see something from 12 hours ago, and that's not what I want to do. I don't even have a hundred things that I follow on Instagram because of that. And uh, why on God's green earth and I, that they did that, I have no idea. And I don't see no, uh, 
way to set it where it shows most recent first. It's the stupidest thing, but I don't know. He's, I, I, I hate Facebook. I hate Facebook with a passion. And Instagram was okay till they did that crap. And that sucks. Uh, Twitter, I don't really use Twitter. I post some videos on there, but at least this stays. I mean, it doesn't matter if I wait three days to open it. It'll be right where I left it at when I open it. You know, if I want to look at something, you know, I just scroll up on it. But, oh, man, y'all, uh, let's keep this thing growing. I have people all the time just talk about, man, how great the videos are, how great the videos are. Um, you know, this, that, and the other. Don't quit posting. I need help from y'all, man. Y'all share them around. Share them around. Tell your friends. I'm going to continue doing shirt giveaways. I'm fixing to announce uh, how I'm going to sell the shirts and uh, and all that. But I'm going to continue every now and then. You're going to have to answer a question to me to get a shirt give to you. I'm going to do stuff like that. That was pretty fun the other day uh, when I did that. But uh, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, uh, Snapchat. All those are Cotton Top 3. Facebook and yeah, Facebook man you can, you can send me a free request but if you're one of those people that do those hoaxes share those hoaxes all the time I'm gonna unfollow you I'm not gonna unfriend you I'll unfollow you if you're one who constantly sharing just what I consider junk and that's a judgment call on my part I'm gonna unfollow you too man or you know, if you send me a friend request and your friend requests your profile picture has you in it flipping a bird off or something like that, grow up, man. Grow up. I mean, I'm not going to accept that. <laughs> I mean, I'm just going to hit the delete request on that. And I get a lot of those like that, man. I don't know why. I guess people think it's cool to be on their Facebook profile page, you know, flipping the bird or whatever. I don't. I don't care for it. I mean... You know, um, but anyhow, that's just thoughts from Tim, man. You know what I mean? Just thoughts from Tim, but because uh, I get, you know, YouTube does about 2,000 comments, and I don't know how many freaking Facebook comments I get a month, but YouTube does about 2,000 a month, and then I'm not sure about Instagram how many they do, but it's a lot too. But I'm going to go in there and change these two hoses right quick. Later, taters. Going back, man. We're just now finishing up the hoses on this thing here. Jay's down there doing the air conditioner on uh, on the 635. That's what he's doing. He just pulled a vacuum on it. I don't know if it held or not. Hopefully, it did. But uh, we got the hoses on the processor on the head right there. He's fixing to pull his butt saw chain off and he's fixing to work on his bar a little bit while we're waiting on uh, Jay to That thing held a vacuum, Jay? Yeah. You see that hole sticking up there, uh, rubbing against that thing right there, Tim? Which one is that? This, this, this filler hole right here. Yeah, it rubbing ain't against... It's supposed to be hanging up there like that, uh -uh. isn't it? Uh-uh. What is that thing supposed to be, Reckon? Uh, 
the eighth ain't supposed to come off and go in this side panel over here on that step. Yeah, it's it's a. Uh, well, got a ain't got a foot in right there, Jane? Yeah, yeah. I think that's where it's supposed. To. So it's about it's on after seven now, about fifteen after seven, and uh, we're wrapping her on up. Fix to make like a turn, hit the trail, man, and head back toward New Hope. But uh, so y'all get actually two later taters from me today. See y'all.